I'm Jess York. I'm a project manager with the National Trust in West Yorkshire. Today we're here at March Hague, which is part of Marsden Moor in the South Pennines. So our project here at March Hague forms part of a larger landscape scale restoration project that the National Trust and Yorkshire Water are doing in partnership with the White Rose Forest. The overall aims for the, for the project are to make the South Pennines a resilient landscape for climate, for nature and for people. The project is looking to restore, recreate and re reconnect lost and degraded habitats of the South Pennines. Part of that will be restoring our upland blanket bog. Another thing we'll be doing is installing thousands of leaky dams to hold back water and help with natural flood management. And the third key element we're looking at is, is tree planting and looking to recreate the woodland habitat that would have existed in the steep sided valleys at the edge of the moorland. My name's Matt Snelling, I'm a project manager at White Rose Forest. Where we stood here at March Hague is a protected landscape and developing woodland creation projects here can be very complex so there was a lot of help with the Forest Commission through their woodland creation planning grant to undertake the necessary planning to make sure that we were putting the right tree in the right place and then we've been supporting the National Trust after that point with the funding of the, the tree planting. Without the White Rose Forest support and their Trees for Climate funding programme the project we have today would not have happened. It's often overlooked the amount of time and money involved in actually designing these projects, whether that's staff resource to, to do that project management, all of the surveys and supporting information that we need to gather to design these schemes. It takes a really long time and it costs a lot of money and the White Rose Forest have been with us all the way from the very beginning, supporting us and getting us to this point here today where we've got 65,000 trees in the ground. Trees are a really important part of our project here in March Hague. So research tells us that once these steep sided valleys, locally known as cloughs, would have once had a lot more trees in them. So we're looking to, to recreate that habitat, which provides really, really important habitats for lots of species that once existed here. And we're hoping to, to bring those back. So mammals and birds and insects, um, as well as the habitat and the biodiversity benefits from these woodlands, um, the trees will also help fight climate change, so they'll store carbon once they've become mature. They also provide really, really good natural flood management benefits. So the canopy will intercept water, the roots will act to soak up that water, and also the roots in the soil help to bind the soil together, stopping soil running into the river system. So all of that will act to slow the flow of water and stop it reaching our downstream communities, such as Marsden here. This area around Marsden Moor um, has suffered really, really badly in the past from moorland fires. So all the work we're doing here is to try and make that landscape more resilient to those fires. So, so the peatland restoration we're doing up on the tops the leaky dams we're installing to hold back water will help make that habitat wetter and then the woodlands we're planting in these steep sided valleys will act as, as fire breaks that provide a low risk habitat that will help stop the spread of moorland fires once they've taken hold of the landscape. As with any project at, at this scale and at this complexity there's a lot of consultation that needs to take place so a huge amount of work has been done in the planning phase with the likes of Natural England, RSPB and, and local residents to get a design that works for everybody. So it's been fantastic working with the, the National Trust on this scheme and helping to support their ambitious vision and that's what we're about with the White Rose Forest so we're keen to work with as many landowners as possible across North and West Yorkshire to support their planting plans.